disappointment of our own disabilities, of rejection, of the offer that Jesus gave to the young man, to recognize that all things, all things are possible for God, including to enter the kingdom of God. And so it is Christ himself who enters. We, rather than try to thread the needle, need simply to cling to him. Cling to him who does what is possible for God. And by so doing, enter in to that what he invites us to share, to enjoy, to rejoice in. It's easy to get discouraged unless one remembers who it is who makes things possible. And so today is that day, as I intimated a few weeks ago, that I'm going to take some of our precious time here before the Lord to assist you to pledge your planned offering to the Lord in our offertory for the coming year. This is an element, an important one, in our relationship with God. Important as prayer, important as service, important even as participation in the sacraments. And so today I ask you all to decide upon and commit to returning to God a fair measure of the gifts he has given to you. A fair measure. I hope you've taken some calculation. The young man balked at giving everything a particular invitation. And unless you happen to have the vocation of a religious and you give everything and receive in return a spiffy habit and a pair of sandals and whatever else comes away from God, he doesn't ask everything. He asks 10%. That's all he asks. He'll do the rest. Now, if you do not already use old-fashioned envelopes or newfangled faith direct, I ask you to begin to do so today, because this is an important part of belonging to a parish. Now, any information you provide is strictly under the guardianship of this parish and the archdiocese. No information about your parish involvement or about a specific level of financial support is ever provided to anyone. So I assure you of confidentiality. Now, especially this year, I have held up to you prescription found in the sacred scriptures and commended by Jesus himself. That is the tithing of 10%. That's the goal. 10% of what you've received from him anyway, through his graces. So, you should have received this week in the mail a brochure to help you consider, pray, calculate, decide, and commit. In the event that you didn't receive the brochure, one of two possibilities exists. Either the brochure was lost in the mail, which does happen occasionally, even here, right around summer spring, you stay close. Or you're not on our mailing list, which you may think is a good thing, but it makes us sad. So, if you think you're not on our list, please follow the instructions I give in a moment. Now, Doing it a little more quickly this year, I hope. I ask you, each household here to have already decided, if not decided real quickly, rock, paper, scissors, short straw, long straw, whatever, one person from each family, each household, let that person have one of those little blank envelopes that I read to the pew. Go ahead. If you don't need one, no problem. That's because somebody else in your household is doing it. Remember, as Jesus said to our believe it was Ezekiel, say not, I am too young. Mm -hmm. Say not, I am too young. Maybe make sure everybody in your pew has one, who needs one. Admit it if you're the designated person. Okay, I'm speaking of, I've got my new brother left. And yes, why are there a stack in the back of the 